Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to verify or hash a physical disk using FTK Imager. And I'm using FTK Imager 4.2.0.13, which is the newest version uh, at this time from Access Data's website. Um, there's also the FTK Imager Lite version 3.1.1. Um, if you're uh, the version basically 4.2.0, uh, you have to install. So you wouldn't be using it in a suspect system, but maybe the light version uh, you would use um, in some sort of live environment. Again, be very careful about changing suspect data. Um, but if you know what you're doing, you might use the light version. For now, we're going to um, imagine that we are working on our forensic workstation. So we have installed FTK Imager 4.2.0, and now we want to uh, verify or uh, hash a, a physical disk. Okay. So um, in this virtual machine, I already have a physical disk installed, and it's just a USB stick. Imagine that I've uh, connected it with a hardware write blocker. Um, if you do have a software write blocker, you could use that as well. Um, I prefer hardware write blockers. Uh, in this case, it's built into my system. Okay, so now we have this um, uh, disk attached and Windows has recognized it. We open up FTK Imager and then we go to File and we want to Add Evidence Item. Add Evidence Item. Uh, you can also add an evidence item just by clicking this uh, single plus sign. There's kind of one plus sign with a magnifying glass and two plus signs with a magnifying glass. Click the one with one plus sign. And we want to add a physical drive, a physical drive. So click next. And the physical drive we want to add is this physical drive one. And I can tell it's the drive I want because the size is correct. Um, if we're adding a suspect disk, we should always, or hopefully we know what the size of the disk is. Um, for a lot of disks, like a, um, in this case, even a USB stick would say the size of the disk um, on the connector. Um, if we have a internal disk, we should be able to read the label and find the size of the disk, um, especially maybe even the manufacturer or something like that. So in this case, we know that USB 2.0 USB device, 4 gig USB, that is the disk that I want to um, uh, hash or verify. So click that. That's physical drive one. On your computer, it might show up as slashes instead of W's. So click physical drive one and then click finish. So now we've added it um, and we could look at the hex view if we wanted to, but for now we are just looking or we want to know, uh, we want to verify the disk image. So if I click the plus button, um, we can see that there is one partition and there is some art, uh, unpartitioned space. Okay, but we don't really have to worry about that. I just wanted to make sure that it does detect something is there because in this case it should. So if we right click, right click on physical drive one, we have the verify, verify drive slash image uh, option. So go ahead and click that and it will just start hashing. That's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Whenever it's finished with that, it will pop up with a uh, report about the hash values uh, that it will get, and I believe it's an MD5 and SHA-1 hash values unless we configure it otherwise. Um, so uh, I will let this run, and whenever it's finished, I'll come back. Okay, so now hashing is complete, and we can see that uh, the name of the device was Physical Drive 1. Um, we need to document what what drive that actually is. Um, we need to, for example, the, in this case, it's the USB drive. So I would have to actually um, attach that to some uh, identifier on the USB stick um, because the physical drive one, if I added other drives, then uh, the drive number is assigned depending on how many drives you have. So that could change. So we have to say physical drive one, but actually this is the, my, in this case, blue USB stick. Uh, we have a sector count, uh, we have the computed hash for MD5, uh, SHA-1 hash computed, and bad sector list, and nothing was found. Um, whenever we um, image a disk, uh, a report will be created that will save this information. Um, whenever we just hash or verify the results like this, the, the report I don't believe is saved, or at least I haven't found where it's saved at. So we would actually have to record this ourselves. I usually take a screenshot uh, whenever we're doing this. So that's how to um, hash or verify a physical drive. Thank you very much.